Today we'll be turning this sleek looking Samsung Z Fold 6 into a sleek looking desktop replacement. Not only is the Samsung Fold 6 a great phone, it can also become a great desktop computer. So in today's video I'll show you some tips and tricks to turn your Samsung Fold 6 into the ultimate computing device. Okay so first of all you need one of these USB hubs and for some reason my one fits perfectly into this slot on my little tiny desk. So I slotted it into the back here on the desk and I plugged in my mouse and keyboard. So it also has HDMI support which is going to be important because later I'm going to show you how to use DeX mode with a full screen monitor but first of all we're just going to do it without DeX mode and I'll show you how. So you want to get your USB hub that plugs into the phone using USB-C or plug directly into the phone and connect to the keyboard and the mouse into the phone and you also want to get yourself some kind of stand like this. Okay, so here are some tips and tricks now that you've set up your mouse and keyboard, it should be instantly detected and you can now move the mouse around. So you can see I've got this nice big pointer, very visible. If you go to settings and you type in pointer into the search bar, so you type pointer, uh, you've got a bunch of mouse options and you can do stuff like you can change the pointer size and color so we can have a faster pointer speed or faster scrolling wheel speed and you can change pointer size and color here so you've got the size you can have a massive arrow like that which is kind of funny or you can have a really tiny one which is much better and you can also change it to black which is kind of hard to see white is much better or colored so you have green yellow salmon pink I like white, I think that's quite good enough. And then you can go back and then you can also change what the buttons do on the mouse. So you've got left, you can change it to right if you want to mess stuff up. Don't know why you'd want the left buttons to do right button stuff. You can change the secondary button so this can open stuff like that. And middle button so you've got your mouse wheel. If you press, if you press the mouse wheel you can make it do stuff like go home, go to recents, view notifications. So I've got it to home. So if I press the wheel button, it will now take me home, which is pretty useful. Or you can do it so it opens recents. So now it opens my recent apps. So that's pretty useful, but I like home. And you've also got the additional button. So on my mouse, because it's a gaming mouse, I've got these side buttons. And you can make them do different things. By default, they go back and forwards on menus. So if you click it back, it'll go back. And you can change this to things like go home, go to recents, but I think back's pretty useful. And the secondary button is basically just the right click button, so it will right click and open menus like that. Or if you go onto an app or hover over an app, you can right click on it and you can remove it or select it. Obviously you can also uh, long hold it down and drag it around like this and move it about so it is basically just like a computer okay so next let's talk about the multitasking capabilities so multitasking and split apps is really good on android and it's even better with a mouse and keyboard so you can see we've got calculator open here and to bring up a second app we just drag it down from the taskbar and now we can drop it into the bottom half or the top half or the left or right half, or we can drop it into the middle and create this pop-up. So we've now got a pop-up and we can now drag it by this green handle and move it around the screen like this, or we could resize it like that. Just like on Windows, it's basically the same. And then we can also click it and turn it into a split screen. So now we've got it side by side and we can write some notes. It's a bit annoying how this pop-up keyboard keeps popping up. You have to get rid of it. So you could do some typing and see some stuff on the other side. And we can also bring up, I don't know, uh, stocks. So long hold it. You can bring up a third app for multitasking into either of these corners. So you can put it up there. So you've got stocks up here. You've got note taking down here. You've got calculator there. You can also resize it like this. So you can make this a bit bigger make it smaller or you can switch the orientation or you can have YouTube at the top so I could have my YouTube here playing videos and I can have calculator there I have the stock market here and I can just scroll around on YouTube and watch videos and stuff like that it's pretty cool you can also save it as your favorite selection of apps to be split screened and you can click on these dots press on the star and now you can add this shortcut to this 
selection of apps to either the taskbar, the home screen, or the edge panel. I like the edge panel because my taskbar's full up. So the edge panel you can see is like a little gray thing on the side. If you press it, you've got some extra options like AI. AI Select is also pretty good. You've got the other split screen apps and other apps you can add to the sidebar. So Select, Smart Select is pretty good because it's like screenshots, but it's smarter. So you can now draw like a shape onto what you want to select and then it will create a little square and you can resize it like this now you can do a few things like copy so you can paste it somewhere or you can save it as an image or you can extract the text or you can add it to a note as an image and you can even do sketch to ai thing but it only works if you've only got an image in the selection so you can do sketch to image and now i can draw i don't know like a like a bird I can draw a little bird on the thumbnail and it will generate using AI don't really know how to use that in a useful way yet but I'm sure it could be useful for some reason there look I've put a little bird on my AI I mean on my thumbnail <laughs> that one looks quite good actually Okay, next I want to show you the DEX mode, but for DEX mode we need to plug it into a monitor. So I've got a monitor over there, we just need to plug it in to here using the HDMI cable. Okay, so I've got the monitor plugged into the hub using the HDMI cable, and it's all connected. I've got the keyboard, mouse, and the phone, which is basically the computer that's powering everything. And we have everything on this monitor now, and it's actually pretty impressive it's basically just like a windows computer at this point you've got got youtube uh, it just pops up as like a, a little pop-up window so you can have like youtube over here drag it around you can resize it it is basically exactly the same as windows and then you can bring up a calculator have it like a little pop-up so if you have like a really big monitor you can just have lots of little pop-up things so you can like watch some YouTube, watch some YouTube here, and I've got the volume is coming out of the monitor, I think. Built into the phone itself, if you swipe up from the corner, you get this little. Oh no! Up, it's coming out Gemini of the phone. AI. The sound is coming out of the phone, not the monitor. So yeah, you can watch YouTube here, put it into full screen. So you've got full screen mode on the YouTube player and then you can do like some calculations over here, type in some numbers and um, what else can you do? Bring up the Play Store, I've got the Play Store here, look for some games. I did try to do some gaming with the mouse and keyboard but it doesn't work. It just thinks that the mouse clicks are your finger clicks so it doesn't actually work like WASD controls. So yeah, you can do split screen as well. So. If I just get out of this YouTube video. So it works like Windows. If you want to do split screen, you just drag it to the side of the monitor. So you drag it to the top and it'll go full screen like this. And you can scroll up and down like that. Um, but if you drag it, drag it down, nothing happens. You drag it left, it'll go split screen and ask you to choose another app for the other side. So now we've got split screen. I'm trying to get rid of that reflection on the monitor, but the windows right behind me so it's kind of difficult so you've got a split screen here and it's like windows you can drag it resize it like this so if you don't have a computer or a laptop you can literally use your phone as a computer if you've got a monitor and a keyboard and mouse the only thing i see that's missing is gaming so i'll try and do some gaming again i'll try but it doesn't work so I'll try launching Wuthering Waves, see if I can put it into full screen there. I'm pretty sure it won't work, because I tried two games, I tried Immortal, Diablo Immortal, and it didn't, I mean the mouse did work, but the keyboard didn't do anything. And I tried Call of Duty, nothing works, mouse didn't work, neither did the keyboard, so you got to download this thing, hold on. So if you don't really need very specific programs, and you just... Uh, like a casual computer user you could easily use this phone as a computer just to do like web browsing video consumption write some notes do some spreadsheets if that's good enough for you then i don't really see why you need a computer i personally need a computer because well i do live streaming and 
I prefer to use computer live streaming software than using my phone as a live stream thing because it's just better on a computer. And also PC gaming, if you want to do PC gaming you need a proper PC. Or you could use Xbox Gaming Pass if your internet's good enough. Yeah, so unfortunately it doesn't work. I'm clicking the buttons but nothing happens. Keyboard doesn't do anything. It wants me to use touchscreen input on my phone. So it's kind of annoying. I guess if you've got a controller, because most of these games support controllers, so if you connect the controller to the phone, you could then just play using a controller and use this as a monitor.